Ben Jones and their offensive line, they said that you know they take that personal for you to, to pass Eddie George, for you to have you know Ty O.J. Simpson and Adrian Peterson, the most 200-yard rushing performance. But what does it mean to you, you know, that, that they take that so seriously? Um, I mean, it, I mean, they were the ones that made it made it happen. So, um, you know, I would. You know, I, I would hope that they, you know, take take pride in that because without them, you know, I wouldn't have the success that I've had. And, you know, our relationship, you know, the way we just, you know, come together and, you know, stick together through anything, through any adversity, you know, and I told them, like, I got their back and, you know, they got, they got my back. So, you know, just, just sticking through it. Um, ben is a great leader on this team and a great leader for, you know, that, that old line room and, you know, um, somebody that I always try to, Pick his brain, and you know, just just happy that we were able to you know, have to have success today, and they did a great job. Brable said he feels like the, the offensive line maybe has made the jump, the Colts end of the Colts game, and, and now in terms of gelling and taking it to the next level. You feel like that, and how exciting is that if that, that that's true that they've got like another level to go to? Yeah, man. Um, you know, it's always happy to see you know hard work pay pay off. I know those guys have been working hard all throughout the season, you know, even through the ups and downs. Um, you guys just, just stay with it, continue continue to work hard. And you know, like I always say, you know, as long as you put the work in, it'll eventually happen for us. And those guys have been doing that. And um, it's a lot to build off of and a lot of stuff to get better at. Did you say anything to Malik, did you say anything to Malik uh, before the game? And what, how did you think he did uh, first time out? Um, uh, you know, I just, you know, just told him to go out there and just, just play. And, you know, we, we got his back. and. You know, no matter what happens, you know, just stick to it, and we all stick together. I was happy for him, you know, to get out there and um, have his first NFL game. I want to help him get a touchdown, but he wasn't able to get in there. Hopefully, uh, he'll get another opportunity. But just happy for him just to go out there and be able to lead us, and you know, um, you know, us to win, and you know, do everything we need to do to get the job done. I told him, you know, my my first year it wasn't great, and you know, I, I want the best. But as time goes on, you know, you learn and get more experience, and you know, I think you know he'll be special as you know time goes on. Were you impressed by his poise and his maturity for his first start? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, you know, you know the game, you know, it's, it's it's fast out there. You know, I just told him to stay calm, stay poised. Uh, just trying to preach that to him all week, and you know, just go out there, go out there and play. And um, you know that's what he you know he had to do to help us get the job done, and I'm proud of him for it. Well, I think that's our uh, identity and culture. Um, you know, coach preaches physicality, you know, effort and finish, um, details, fundamentals. And you know we all take pride in that, and you know how we want to play in our culture, and you know our our mindset, and mentality, in the run game, and, and 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 what we want to do. So I think just having attention to detail uh, each and every play, and having the will to go out there and do it, execute. The previous season has nothing to do with right now. Um, you know we take it week by week, um, and. Get better, you know, as the week goes on, and go out there and try to execute on Sunday. You can't live in the past. I mean, that's that's, that's done and over with. But you know, you just focus on the right now and try to get better. What's the day like? I guess knowing you're gonna get your first start pregame, right before kickoff, and how did you think it went? Uh, I think it was it it was good. We got a W. You know, that's all you want to go out and do. Uh, yeah, there are things you want back, and it's my first start, so I can't be too critical on myself. But uh, yeah, you got plays you want back, and that's gonna be every game. But Definitely uh, appreciative for a, a W, uh, and Derek, you got to congrats to him. He got a new record, so that's cool too. So uh, just cool to see our team just fight back from setbacks, whether it may be penalties, whether it may be the turnover uh, on the interception, man, it just bounce back regardless of what was going on and uh, come together. It was really cool. What's it like to have that, that security blanket, if you will, knowing, knowing that the, the, you could turn to Derek Throughout the game and handle. More than anything, I don't look at it like a security blanket. I think it's our offense. <laughs> uh, you just when we run the ball and they can't stop it, what would you do? You know, so uh, uh, we just try to continue to stay within our offense and uh, play the game and go out and try to get W's. What's that week been like as far as like riding that roller coaster, not knowing if you're going to play, thinking you might, and then finding out that you are definitely going to be the starter? Um. Uh, I feel like, like I've been saying all week, I mean, all you could do is prepare like you're going to play, regardless uh, if you think you are or you don't. Uh, and then that takes a lot of worries away from you. When did you find out that you were going to be the 
find out if you were going to be the guy? Uh, probably when y'all found out. Huh. Yeah. Sometime yesterday. Yeah. I feel like it was everybody. I mean, we're a team, so uh, I can lean on O linemen. I can lean on receivers. I can lean on Derek. I can lean on Ryan. I can lean on people on the defense. And everybody was just telling me how they got my back and uh, don't worry about this or don't worry about that. Like, we got your back. We're behind you. So that's been really cool just to have that. How hard was it to adjust to that game speed, you know, coming from college to the NFL? I think it's football and understanding just what comes with it. Yeah, it's a little bit different, uh, especially because we're running a different offense more than anything. Uh, but I think it was cool to get out there and have some fun and get a W. Malik, I'm sure you don't dream of throwing one pass in the second half of your first NFL start, but when that's how the game is going, what's kind of the mindset of just letting it flow the way it did and make sure you get the W? I don't care, brother. <laughs> we got a W, you know what I mean? Like I was saying, uh, we set a record today. Like, how can you not be – I mean, that's selfish to – not be happy for Derek. I mean, he just set an NFL record. That's hard to do. And if they can't stop the run, I mean, why would we not run it? You know, and more than anything, we're not out here to, you know, try to throw for 300 every game or try to run for 300 every game. We're out here trying to find ways to win games. That's all. First time you've been in the huddle with them as he's kind of gotten into his groove, what was that like? And what was kind of the, the momentum that was building as he was racking up? It was cool. I mean, it was really cool to see, you know, one of the premier guys in the NFL on my team and just kind of take over a football game. Uh, he, he's like, they can't stop me. They can't stop me. So it's like, it's cool to see that because they weren't stopping him. So you talk about the job that your defense did today stopping the Texans Yeah, they did a great job. I mean, y'all was watching the game. They did a great job. And uh, every time we look up, we getting the ball back. And, uh, like I said, they were just behind us the whole time. It, it's keep fighting, keep fighting, oh, keep fighting, oh. Hey, Malik, we got you, we got you. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. Just really, really good job by the defense today, not only on the field but off the field as far as, you know, just being great teammates. How was the dialogue as far as like the back and forth with Coach Young and you know, trying to make sure he kept you in good situations and those type of things, the looks that you wanted to do? So how was that? I mean, it was cool. He was just making sure I was operating as – Starting quarterback, uh, getting us in good runs, making sure that we're in, we're doing all the motions and all the cans and all the making sure each play runs smoothly as possible and we execute to the best of our ability. Does anything change for you going into next week? Now that you have this experience, are you just trying to keep things same as? Not really. Just watch the film and try to get better, brother. That's all. This team's won five in a row in a variety of different ways here. To have it on you today to, to step in and to step up. And I mean, it's really cool that they, you know, allowed me to go out there and, you know, be the guy for the day and uh, help us win a game. And it's really cool just that they felt like no matter who's in there, we can go out and win games. And that's just kudos to them. You heard from Ryan? Yeah, he texted me. What did he say? Ryan, why you all in my takes? <laughs> right, we. No, I'm just playing. He was like, uh, congrats on your first dub. Like, uh first NFL start uh, and a first NFL W. Now, not a lot of people get to do that. So uh, I was just appreciative to him texting back on that. You guys you played a lot on the ball. I mean, did anything different maybe in your first career start in the NFL? Did you have any nerves you know, last night or, or this morning? I mean, you get butterflies probably the first play. Then I got hit, and I was like, oh, I'm ready. I'm good. That's good. Thanks. 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 Yeah, have a good one. Separate ourselves right now with the opportunities that we have by playing division opponents and, you know, being able to put some separation between us and uh, the, some of the guys in the division. Um, it's not going to get easier, um, but certainly proud of the fact that, you know, we've been able you know, we told the guys, like, we're, we've won one game in a row five times. That's all we've done. Uh, it's going to be a new challenge, a bigger challenge uh, coming in this week or going on the road. I mean, it just to some of these guys, again, whether it's, you know, Jeffrey or Ben or the ability for Derek to continue to show up uh, week in and week out and prepare um, in the off season. You know, there's a lot of guys, you know, and, and certainly Jeff's performance, uh, his attitude, his leadership, um, you know, it's, he's, a, he's a large part of our team, you know, and I appreciate who he is as a person, as, as a father. And uh, and his leadership and as and as a teammate. Did that go to script in a lot of ways in terms of being able to 
not ask a lot of Malik and let Derek and the defense roll? Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, Malik was his, was his first NFL start you know, on the road. You know, crowd noise, all those things. So, you know, we, we tried to do what we felt like uh, gave us the best chance to, to win the football game. And, you know, that, that's going to change each and every week. And then you look out your start quarterback in the day where you challenge everybody to do more and you feel like the defense. Well, I, I think that instead of doing more, you know, maybe do our jobs a little better and, and make the plays that we're supposed to make and not think that we have to somehow uh, win the game by ourselves. And, and I think that. You know, hopefully we didn't try to do that and, and try to do somebody else's job. We just need to do our job uh, a little bit better. You guys pride yourself so much on running the football and defense. The idea that you shut them down the way you did in the second half and only needed to throw once. And is that kind of the quintessential identity? I mean, I think that you know we, we continue to try to figure out who we are. I think we have. You know, that's going to have to you know, change and modify. But you know, I think the guys that have embraced it. You know, there's a lot of examples uh, that are going to be. Easy for me to coach from, uh, whether that be, you know, penalties, operation, you know, not not getting enough turnovers, you know, not taking care of the football, you know, on the, on the punt return and, you know, the interception there. Um, so there'll be a lot of things to coach, and, and my job is to continue to coach them and demand a lot of them and um, and, and get better and find ways to improve. Well, I mean, when, when you give up 200 yards rushing in the first week of the season, and I know that that's a long time ago, um, we still believe that we know how to stop the run uh, and we f feel like we know how to run it. Uh, that, you know, they were coming in running the football and uh, you know, that we gave up a few that I think that we probably shouldn't have, but you know, we stood up to the challenge of stopping a run and, and making them earn it. Um, and it could have been really, really special performance you know, had we been able to get a stop there at the end. But, um, you know, you got to do it each and every week, and we'll have to you know, go on the road and do it, you know, in prime time uh, on the road in a hostile environment. In the first half, uh, you had the two turnovers, but they went backwards 13 yards on both times. How big was that? Well, I mean, huge. You know, and I think that they're, you know, they're starting to get some confidence and they're starting to get better. And, you know, Christian Fulton's out there challenging and, and tackling. And when you have corners that can match, you know, really good receivers in this league, but also are willing to tackle. Um, you know, now you're starting to look at a, at a at a pretty quality player. And, you know, we demand a lot, of, you know, try to push Christian. And I know that, you know, Coach Midget does the same and Shane. And uh, just to try to not be a guy that just covers. But, I mean, you should see him showing up. And, you know, Andrew Adams is getting better. Uh, we got some performances from some guys inside. And it's good to have Zach back and you know, David Long and, you know, just all of them. And I think they're starting to build some some confidence in what we're doing. Um, but you know, it'll be a huge challenge next week. Well, I, I thought it got better. You know, I mean, today, um, you know, there were some good things and some things that, you know, if he's quarterback for us next week, if he's our quarterback, that you know, we'll have to be um, to be better at. But that'll be about the same for everybody. The blocking for Derek today, the offensive line. Well, again, I think that's another group that's starting to build some some confidence, and, and how we finish the game against the Colts. May have a lot to do with that. We saw a lot of pressure in the second half and a lot of moving parts. But for, for the most part, I thought that they they stood up and, and they got Derek going, uh, got him into the second level. And, um, you know, it's great to see those guys doing that. What can you say about Derek's performance overall today? I mean, it's just I think we've come to expect that uh, from him. He put so much on himself. Um, you know, we all have to find ways to something good, bad, or ugly happens to get back to center uh, and get back to work. And Derek, he, he expects more of himself than anybody on his football team or any coaching member uh, would. So I, I'm glad we have him. Sure. I mean, I'm. I'm Come to work every day with Derek, and you know Valentina and Adriana were at the you know kids' Christmas party. Of course I do. You know what I mean? They, you know, you get to know these guys. You spend a lot of time with them. You know, it's our fifth year of being together. Uh, good times, bad times, frustrations, kids being born. You know, I mean, there's a lot of things that go on over the course of five years that I've had the luxury of of making connections with these guys um, that have been here since I got here.
totally different, or this is something that builds off of the uh, I think it's every every situation is different, Gentry. You have to see what the situation is, see who's available, see who you're playing, try to come up with a plan that you can communicate and teach to the players. Um, so we'll, we'll, it'll be no different this week. You know, Todd will say who's available, who's not, uh, and then we'll go from there. And so we just try to make sure that everybody, when they come to work, uh, is believing in the same things that, that we've believed in around here and, and understand that they practice and prepare as a starter. And then if they're not, and then they go on to the next week, and sometimes they are, and they get called up. So whether that's Chris Conley or Merch or any of these guys that came up today, and Logan was prepared to, to go in there if he had to.